If you have watched Tenet, you must have heard of the term temporal pincer quite a few times, but maybe failed to fully grasp it. In this video, we will break it down so you can understand what it actually means. Pincer movement in actuality is a real military maneuver in which two factions simultaneously initiate an attack against the advancing enemy from two different sides, giving the enemy multiple fronts to worry about and also effectively trapping them, forcing them to either fight against nigh impossible odds or retreat similar to the pincer claw making contact with some object on opposite sides. If you have ever played any strategy games, say Age of Empires or something like that, you could have used this maneuver without even knowing it. In temporal pincer movement, the enemy force is attacked by two factions similar to the pincer movement in space but in this case, one faction attacks from the future and other from the past. As I've said, pincer movement, not in space, but in time. The effectiveness of the temporal pincer comes from the fact that both the factions know what is going to happen in the battlefield before the battle even starts. As during the final scene in the movie, the red team that attacks while traveling forward in time knows what's going to happen before the battle because the blue team that started their mission in future and were traveling backwards in time thanks to the turn style have already completed it and therefore can inform the red team about everything that's going to happen for them. Like in the movie, blue team informed the red team about the tunnel through which the site of explosion can be reached and this helped the protagonist. The blue team also have the same advantage as the red team because the red team tells the blue team about the events of the battle after completing the mission and before the mission even starts for the blue team. Since red team will be finishing the mission in future and blue team will be starting their mission sometime after the red team have completed their mission. This way, both the factions, uh, red team and blue team in this case, know what are the things that will take place during the battle and can use this information to their advantage. Nothing less than a cheat code. If you have liked this video, then hit the like button. If you disliked it, then dislike it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And bye-bye.